Wait, what? I mean, my name is Pewdiepie. No, wait, what? Hello, everybody. My name is Mark. No, who was I again? All right, that's right. I'm Strifeful. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Yeah, I love that emote so much. What is up? That's right. We have a video again. Fortnite. Oh my God, you guys just love Fortnite. I do. I do enjoy Fortnite a, a, a lot as well. But today. We, as you saw in the title, are gonna review skins. The new skins, that's right. We are gonna be reviewing none other but Venom himself. The symbiote, the ultimate enemy, the perfect, I mean, the, the one nemesis of Spider-Man that we all love to hate and hate to love so much. I guess we can just start it off by first telling you guys. Yes, we know Claptrap. You are the great general. Everybody respects you and everybody wants to pet you and salute you. So shut the hell up, will ya? Mm, Alright. Alrighty. Then. I guess we can start off first with uh, make sure to, <laughs> you know, comment down below a question for my Q&A video that is coming soon. Also, make sure to leave a like if you enjoy my content and also, 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 also. Make sure to subscribe to my channel because you guys are amazing and we're almost there. Without any further ado, I'm just gonna get into it. We got the entire Venom pack. Now, as you may see, I haven't purchased it yet because... I don't know, guys. I don't know. I do love Venom. Trust me. He is my all-time favorite symbiote. He is my... Well, uh, I guess Carnage might be my favorite because he's... I, I like the more gruesome type. But Venom is definitely, especially on coloration and all that, definitely, definitely a favorite. Uh, we love Venom. We all love Venom. And this is one of the reasons why... Uh, okay, so first I'm going to give you my grade for the entire bundle. It's a 2000 V-Bucks bundle and it contains four items. Now the first item obviously is Mr. Venom who is absolutely amazing. Again, I love it, but the bundle to me is a... Uh, I'm going to say a five. Now, I, hey, hear me out. Hear me out. Don't be mad. No. Okay, come down. Come down. Don't go into the comment section being all like, oh, a strife. Oh my god, you love Venom, but you're gonna read it 5 out of 10? Well, yeah. And here's why. First off, again, I love Venom. But Venom does not feel like he belongs in this universe. Shooting with guns and all that? For now, this season, we got the abilities, right? We got the Marvel abilities, which can spice up a little bit the game and make you feel like you're playing that character. But think about for the future. The next season, I don't think we're gonna have those abilities. Next season is gonna be a different type of season. It's gonna be probably a Christmassy season, like a winter season, a f more festive season, and I don't think they will have those abilities. And to have Venom and the skin and play as Venom in a in a shooter game like Fortnite, where you build and all that, doesn't feel rather Venomy. It, it more it feels like uh, you're playing this monster that is helpless and worthless and a piece of shit. <laughs> but yeah, pretty much. Here's what I think overall of of the parts of the bundle. You know, aside from the bundle being a five for me. Like for you guys, you can buy the bundle, you can enjoy it, you can love Venom, play Venom all the time. That's fine. But that's my opinion. All right, my opinion. This bundle is a five out of ten. But the skin. I'm gonna give the skin, the design, overall, overall design, not the use of the skin, the design, the looks of the skin, I'm gonna give a 9 out of 10. You know why? Because not only you got, like, the probably how I imagine Marvel will create the future Venom look with the Spider-Man logo on the chest and on the back, but also you, you, you have an alternate version of the skin, which I believe is more of a comics, comics-y, crazy-looking Venom. Because look at that thing! Mike, I love how you can see up his jawline, the teeth underneath where the cheeks, like the, 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 the slobs of the cheeks are supposed to be. I love that so much. And I love the little like pointy thing on the back and the sharp claws and the amazing, you know, uh, elbow, whatever spike this is. Design look, this is a nine out of 10. I love it. I love how it looks. Both versions. I love this version as well as I love the other one. So the skin, definitely uh, 9 out of 10. 
Seriously, we had this discussion like with Ghost Rider already. Do we have to have a slob, a ball? A ball of slob of some sort? Do we have to have this? Couldn't you make like, I don't know, symbiotic tentacles or, or, or drips of something from his back over his torso or something? I mean, you guys did this. Why not do this properly? So that's a 1 out of 10. I hate this. I, I, I love the animations, but I hate the design out of it. Like, you guys are doing awesome with this skill. But why? <laughs> Moving on. We got the harvesting tool. The pickaxe. The gorgeous arm extension. This is such a unique design. Only Venom can wield this mighty symbiotic slasher. And oh my god, I gotta tell you guys. It's Gregorious. Both meanings. Absolutely gorgeous and utterly gory and disgusting. Because this thing, once you equip it, it actually extends from your arm and you feel like the symbiote. Like in the movie. Like you have created your harvesting tool. And you are wielding it with such a raw strength and power. 8 out of 10. You know why? Because nobody else can use that. <laughs> so that's an 8. Still, I'm, I'm in love with this pickaxe harvesting tool. It's just amazing. I love it. And now comes the one part that the Ghost Rider is missing. Just, just hear this out. Hear this out. Oh my god, it's so awesome. It's so awesome. I love it. I really love the emo. That this is the thing they, they should have done for Ghost Rider. They should have created an emo that the Ghost Rider can have. Like a I don't know, like a hellish blaze where he basically just bursts into flames for a few seconds while he's just bursting in front of you, showing how awesome and demonic he is, or something with his chains, maybe swiveling them around and just being cool and badass like a true hellblazer. But no, they just decided to, you know, what, well, fuck it, we're just gonna make it one of the most expensive goddamn bundles and just give it over there without an emote. But the Venom emote is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. And again, that's why I'm giving this, the emote is a 9 out of 10, alright? I love the emote, but the bundle and the fact that you have this emote, it's a 5, because you're... What kind of a creature would die from a sweat that hit you with a shotgun by being overly stressed on an instinct? Not, not an instinct, sorry, on a panic reflex. So basically you got a sweat who saw you, who overbuilt, came to you and shot you from panic with a stupid reflex of panic reflex and kills you. No creature looking like this and doing this will die from a shotgun blast to the face to a dumbass piece of sh <laughs> sweat. <laughs> but yeah, I think the, uh, the overall the entire bundle is not bad, honestly. It's 2000 V-Bucks again. Uh, I guess it's worth it. To be fair, this honestly are not even items because you can't use them with anybody else. And I'm not talking about the harvesting tool, I'm, I'm talking about the emote and the, the slob. I guess the slob you can use with everybody else you want, but the, specifically the emote comes with Venom, so I think that should be around 1500. And then you got a harvesting tool that you can only use with Venom, which you cannot use with anybody else. I'm, but again, it's a harvesting tool, I think it's an epic one or something like that. And I think it should be costing about 800. So overall, the entire bundle should be around 2,300. So basically, they just lowered it to 2,000, which to me is kind of stupid because you can't use any of those things with anybody else rather than Venom. Definitely, if you enjoy this bundle, make sure to purchase it and enjoy Venom. But what I'm going to say is you'll probably forget him, throw him away and never play him again. Not like the other Marvel, ca Marvel characters. All right. All right. But yes, that's right. We're moving on. That's right. Today we have review of two skins because I didn't do a review of the Black Widow. I don't know why. I just kind of I, I thought I'm going to buy her because I love Black Widow and I love the new movie and I'm so excited to see it and I'm so waiting for a skin. You guys know what I'm talking about. A skin from the movie. I love the character. Yeah, we know Claptrap. You're always winning this. Come down, General, please. But the point is you just saw the trailer of Black Widow. You know what character I'm talking about. And you know what character I want to see as a skin in this goddamn game. 
and I'm waiting for Marvel to finally deliver it, and I'm hoping the last week would be this actual character, because if they don't deliver that character from the movie Black Widow that hasn't come out yet, but from the trailer into this game, I'm gonna be super pissed because that's one of my favorite characters and I wanna play him and I wanna play him now! But the point is, <laughs> the point is I love the movie and I really love the the, the white suit, the, winter, the snow suit, the winter suit, I don't know, everybody calls it differently, but basically I love the, the look and I gotta say, Compared to the previous skin of Black Widow that we had, I don't have it sadly because I'm not a, I'm not one of those guys that plays female skins again. So sorry, but that doesn't mean I cannot appreciate a good skin, a good, well done skin. And I gotta say, the skin itself is not bad. But here's my uh, rating for the bundle itself. I'm gonna rate this entire bundle a seven out of of ten, and I'm gonna say a seven out of ten because, to be fair it's worth what it's cost and especially for girls out there yeah guys that's right you heard it right for girls that want to play girls not for guys that want to play girls i i think this is a great design so we're starting off with the skin i'm gonna give the skin eight out of, uh, eight out of ten because although the skin is nearly perfect nearly flawless there are a few things that i don't like like the shape of her head from the side kind of looks weird but you're not gonna be able to see that anyways I'm talking just design look it doesn't look that bad at all it actually looks amazing I love the boots how they blend in with the entire suit and I love the shoulder thingies and the wrist thingies they've done the like the like the computer monitor they have here like the, the calm monitor I'm not sure what that is I think it's a communication device or something like that and then you got the belt and the buckles and everything and the holsters with the pistols just overall design of the skin is gorgeous and the face from up front mm. and by the way red hairs that's my kryptonite if I see a red haired woman looking like this in real life I'm gonna be I'm gonna be losing my mind I kind of we feel like we already have kind of a you know a similar team like with the Star Wars one especially for you guys that bought the Star Wars skins uh, I think you already are happy with the back blinks from there or maybe you, you bought the super bundle like the superhero bundle where you where you can actually put a hologram of different other things on your back of different emotes so I don't think you needed that but I guess you know it's a Black Widow thing it's kind of cool it's just the logo of the Black Widow I guess for the super super fans I guess it's not bad so I'm gonna give it my opinion to me this is a 4 out of 10. And we got the we got the harvesting tool. Now these guys are pretty decent by the way. They look cool. And they're dual wield, you know, harvesting tool, which is pretty decent. I like the design, I like the little effects of shock and electricity and all that. And I think also when you're harvesting, you have this wait. Yeah, you have this kind of cool sound. And you know, like there you go. Like, you got the sparks every time you hit. Like, it looks cool. I think it's cool. So I'm gonna give it 7 out of 10 because I over I may enjoy the overall design of it and everything, but I'm not sure I'll be using that on her. There's so many other much cooler harvesting tools. But definitely gonna enjoy it. Definitely gonna enjoy it if I got it. And then the glider. I think this is one of the badass looking gliders. It may not be the best glider out there, but the design of this glider puts it on my 7 out of 10 list because 7 is a high number hey don't think like 7 is a low no 7 now 6 from 6 up to 10 that's the one of the highest rates I can give and a 7 is a pretty decent one and I love the design of this first off it kind of reminds me of a drone like a drone from uh, you know from Stark Tech or something like that basically that's you know just hers because you got this little camera thingy over here you got the logo of Black Widow you got the amazing design you have the battle damage here and there you have the you know the the thrusters with the flames coming out and everything and you got the amazing like sharp you know uh, futuristic tech design and all that which is absolutely gorgeous to me i love the glider so the, the glider to me is 7 out of 10 so yeah make sure to leave a comment down below and telling me what you think of the bo both bundles what do you think of venom what do you think of uh, black widow you think are these kind of like cool skins for you do you think you're gonna buy them or you do have them already i don't know you guys tell me but thanks so much for watching hope you enjoyed make sure to subscribe make sure to leave a comment for my q a make sure to hit that like button and i love you and as always i'll see you with the next one bye bye